Hello everyone, this is Shadil Khan and today we are going to start with a new lesson that is family in Spanish. So here I have taken the example of The Incredibles because uh, this is one of my favorite movie and so your understanding it is going to be better by the example of this family. So first of all I am going to take the example of husband and wife. So here I have husband as I have told you in my previous slide that as a husband and wife you can remember that from the word wife, uh, the word in English that is spouse from that spouse you can remember esposa es esposa esposa and for husband it is esposo esposo and also it is marido marido you can remember as uh, if you if this girl it is she is going to marry with him so she is going to marry with him so marido from marry marido so there are two words for husband you can easily remember both of them. So now here we have kids. So the kids, the word is niña, niña, niña. And for the male kids, we are going to write niño, niño, enia o, enia o. So you might have heard about the phenomena of el niño and el niña in the Pacific Ocean. That is named after this because those two phenomena are rivers. Uh, like the current in the ocean in the Pacific Ocean is clockwise and anti-clockwise so that's why uh, these two are the opposite genders gender so they call that the phenomena of that as yes, a linear this is very easy this is baby father is padre a d r e padre padre like you can you can remember that uh, like the father of a church we generally call him padre Padre, so you can remember that he is a father of all these children. Now here have here we have mother. Mother is madre. Madre. It's very easy to remember. I have told you in the slide of that madre de dragon. So here here we have brother and sister. So this is also I have dictated you before. So for brother we have armano. R H E R M A N O armano. For sister we are going we have Armana. Armana. And I told you before that the word starting with A, we generally have H at silent. So the pronunciation of this it is going to be Armana and Armano. Armano, sorry, this is Armano and this is Armana. And for niece and nephew. So the word for niece is Sobri. Sobrino. Sobrina, sorry. Sob Rina and for nephew it is Sobrino S O B R I N O Sobrino. So you might have uh, watched this series, The Chilling Adventure of Sabrina, in which this girl is a witch and uh, she got the powers. So you can watch the series, it's a very good series. And from this, you can remember that Sabrina is the name of this girl and she is a nephew. So like you can relate that there is a witch auntie she has one aunt who is a witch so i remember this uh, i remember this word like this only so i am sharing you sharing this with you all so now we have cousin so you can remember this word like whenever you have a problem so the first one you are going to tell is your cousins so you will go to them and primary primary person primary n a r y primary p r i M A R Y primary person that you are going to tell is your cousin. So from primary you can remember primo, primo that is your male cousin, male cousin, and your female cousin is going to be prima, prima, prima that is going to be your female cousin, female cousin. So now here we have son and daughter. For the word for son is hijo, hijo. J O Iho. So again, the pronunciation of this is going to be I J O H is silent Iho. And for daughter, we have we just have to add A at the ending Iha Iha ending in A. Now we have grandfather and grandmother. So again, the word that we have for grandfather and grandmother that is very much similar to Hindi and Urdu. That is like we generally call our father and mother as Abu. But in this, in Spanish, you have to go two generations up. From Abu, you can say Abuela and Abuelo. Abuela and Abuelo. So we are going to write for grandmother Abuela. Abuela. A B U L A. Abuela. And for grandfather, you are going to write Abuelo. Abuelo. 
so here we have grandson and granddaughter again in hindi and urdu we have we call our grandson as nati and uh, nati and natni so from this you can remember grandson is nieto from nati it is nieto 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 and for granddaughter it is nieta 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 so here we have mother in law and father in law the word are, the word for mother in law is suegra s u e g r a suegra and for father in law that is going to be suegro s u e g r o suegro for sister in law it is cuñada c u e n i a a d a cuñada so we don't use this word like mother in law father in law brother in law sister in law so sister in law cuñada and brother in law will be cuña do cuña do cuña do so that's it for today so we completed the family and in the next class we are going to start with the uh, prepositional adjective prepositional adjective all right prepositional so in the next class we will start with that and uh, we will use we will practice all this so until then.